First, the restorer dusts off some of the surface dirt. He uses a soft brush and gentle movements to avoid further destruction. Then he prepares a cleaning solution. He applies the cleanser to the Madonna's face and body. He makes sure the statue doesn't absorb too much water because that would cause more deterioration. Next, the restorer wipes the statue down with a damp sea sponge. For serious stains, he combines alcohol and ammonia. He applies the cleansing mixture using a cotton swab. He lightly scrubs off the deep stains. The alcohol evaporates quickly, so it's not on the surface of the statue long enough to do any more damage. The restorer uses rabbit glue for the next step. It's a strong and flexible adhesive that won't chip or crack. He dissolves some glue in distilled water. He applies it to the cloth exposed underneath the broken plaster. Then he mixes a special plaster called gesso with the rabbit glue. He dabs the plaster mixture onto the glued sections to fill in the gaps in the Madonna's robes. After the first coat of plaster on the robes dries, then he sculpts the robes contours using a surgical scalpel. He blends the repair into the original plaster and sands it until it looks seamless. He mixes water-based paint to match the original colors. Then he carefully covers the repaired sections, blending the old with the new. He seals the paint with carnauba wax. It gives the surface of the statue a hard and resilient finish. It can take up to four months to restore a damaged statue. A sculpture that's hundreds of years old can look as good as new in just a few months. Then churchgoers can enjoy it for centuries to come.